Hey everyone, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas break and a New Year's Eve and I thought I want to pick up with our Makoto Shinkai series where we stopped before the Christmas break. I did a Garden of Words painting and for this episode I want to focus on one of his other movies called Your Name. It's a super beautiful movie and it sort of has a lot of twists and turns in it and it plays around the idea of sort of different timelines in a way. I don't want to spoil too much but it's a very very fun movie and I really enjoyed it personally and I wanted to do my own interpretation of of a moment or a scene in the movie itself um, and I thought one thing as I was doing this image I sort of had this first idea of maybe the two main characters are sitting on a train and they're sitting on the similar train but during different times of day and that was like the original idea but I felt like something wasn't quite working with this and I think as artists sometimes when we work on an image sometimes there's something that isn't quite clicking but it's really hard to figure out what that thing is exactly and some, sometimes a small adjustment can fix it but in my case I felt like I had to do pretty much start over because I wasn't sure what the main thing was that wasn't working for me but just my gut feeling told me it's not working uh, and I like to uh, and in that scenario I just like to trust my gut feeling and I started over and this is sort of the new direction I went with I felt like this was a much lighter and I felt like this was a much better representation of what I had in mind when I saw the movie and the takeaways I had so with that said, I think we can just jump into the painting process straight away, so I'll see you in a moment. So I started this image with a very simple drawing, and the, one of the biggest challenges I was going to face in this image is essentially I, I wanted to have two different lighting scenarios. That was sort of the idea I tried on the train, and I did like that because I think it's a fun representation of the movie itself. Uh, but, but I wasn't sure how to execute upon it, so I decided to just do a simple layer on top of the drawing with just trying to block in where would the light be because if I am going to have one side with a different lighting scenario and another one different one I don't want to go as extreme as day and night cycle as the previous attempt because I felt like that was adding too much uh, it was feeling a bit too heavy for to, to look at it but I do want it to be like, what if one of them could be like maybe late afternoon and another one could be around midday. So that said, you know, like, like the color should be slightly different. I also wanted to place the location kind of similar, but still different from each other. So there's a lot of things I had to try and balance. So essentially trying to merge two different images in one with two different lighting scenarios without it feeling too weird which <laughs> which is such a hard balance for me because i never tried something like this before uh where i tried to incorporate sort of two different uh paintings essentially into one um and it, but it was a fun challenge again because i haven't done this before i was pretty excited to try and find a balance for it so as you see, I keep taking on and off the sort of shadow layer I did early on. And it's simply just as a guide I did just to see where would the shadows be in this painting. Uh, and I like to approach images sometimes. Sometimes I just merge the shadow layer and I paint on top of it. Sometimes I just like to keep it as a sanity check <laughs> to see am I on the right track. Because when you do block in your shadows and light early on, you're not really worried about any major... You can, do, you can be as crazy as you want without feeling bad about time investment. Because it's so easy to tweak it when you do it early on. So if you have a version you like uh, and you nail it early, it sort of works as a great guide whenever you want to do changes or tweaks to your painting. I'm also using pretty much just two or three brushes throughout the painting process. I'm planning on putting these up so you can access them. I still just want to trim it and adjust it and add a few more custom ones that, that I really like. So that is something that's still in progress. So keep an eye out for whenever that is ready. But one thing also whenever I like to do my paintings is I try to stay zoomed out for as long as I possibly can. And the reason for that is I want to have an overarching view of the whole image as a whole. I don't want to worry too much about details because I just want to see like how does the whole picture work. Especially in a case like this where these are essentially two different images that needs to merge together. How, do, how good does it feel if we take a step back and look from it from afar? Because when you do zoom in, uh, you can very much look at smaller things and get distracted from the whole picture. But I think once you get an image to a certain stage and everything is sort of working, I think that's when you can zoom in. But I like to just stay zoomed out as long as possible until I really have to get in and get closer. 
And as you see the lighting on the left, I want to add to the sunlight itself, I'm adding much more yellow. And on the right side, I'm keeping on the concrete, the light is much more white and bright. So just to kind of differentiate as well between the two sides, I also want to differentiate the color of the light itself. Because we sort of see the sun setting on the left behind the trees, but on the right, the sun is sort of almost directly above us at around noontime. One of the things which I think made the previous version not work quite as well, as I was working through the image, I was sort of started discovering what, what I was struggling with. And I think one of the issues is the fact that it was inside of a train, so it was a man-made object, and the lighting scenarios was very going to be very different. I think it felt it was too hard to execute execute for me on that without feeling like sort of uncanny valley in a way. So I think with a nature scene, it's I'm much more comfortable painting nature, and I felt like I could manipulate uh, the forest and the nature much more easily to try and make it feel more natural. And I also wanted the divider in the middle to sort of be like a sort of a lens flare of sort. Uh, I really like that about the poster for the movie itself and they do it a lot in the movie itself and it looks super cool. And I'm also trying to merge the sides just a bit more just to avoid having that too stark contrast between the two. Bring a bit of the blue on the right and a bit of the uh, white tile concrete to the left just to try to merge it a bit and at this point when I feel comfortable with the background that's when I eventually jump into the characters themselves just to try to add them in as well and it's just my natural workflow I mentioned this several times I just prefer doing characters last because I feel when I feel comfortable in the environment I sort of have my lighting scenario my studio set up and then I just pop in characters and try to make them feel natural in the scene itself and in sometimes I just turn off the background layer just to draw a bit to clean up some stuff as you see there with a white layer sometimes I just paint on top of it but it's important to try and just make them pop and we're getting to the very end of this image uh, and I also want to recommend you if you haven't seen the video itself uh, or the movie itself I strongly recommend it but as always thanks for watching and I'll see you next time thank you so much for watching the episode I hope you enjoyed this one this painting was quite the challenge for me, but it was a lot of fun new things I had to try and solve as I was working through it. Next episode will be the very last in the Makoto Shinkai series before I jump on something new, but I don't know which movie I'm going to pick for next time. So if you have a preference, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm open for all suggestions that are created by Makoto Shinkai. Uh, and I'll see you next time and I also want to wish you a wonderful weekend. Have a good one. Bye.